Hi, and Rebecca. Thanks very much for joining us on the podcast. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. I'm enjoying the sun that's coming out now that it's summer and uh, working from home still, so it's all, all, all good. Yeah, you, work for, you, you wouldn't have worked from home normally, no? Well, normally, well, my, my office is actually in my home that I have here in UK, and also I'm, I'm moving to America, so I have an office there, oh. with my home over there. So I have two right now, so one to mm-hmm. America live. Um, but most of the time, I, I would have been by now, between the start of the pandemic and to where we are now to this day, around 30 film festivals, so I would have been traveling a lot. Uh, ah. So I haven't, they've been online. <laughs> which <laughs> so is good. Been from my home. We can get into that, which is good or bad, I don't know. But um, uh, so you're, you're, when are you planning on relocating to the US for good? That'll be whenever I can get on a plane. I've got everything, I've got visa, everything sorted. It's just, I need to get on the plane now. And obviously mm-hmm. they're, they're not announcing those dates yet, goodness knows when, but uh, they're gonna have to do it sometime soon. Uh, other countries can travel to uh, America, including China, would you believe? So yes. we'll be next on the list after Brexit, maybe things have been ironed out. Oh, nice. Okay. So um, a little bit about kind of what it is you do, because I, I know there's, I, I, I know people will be very interested. We had a conversation before, just before this started, uh, a little bit about marketing and distribution. And I, as a festival director, uh, understand from my perspective what I would like to see from people. But uh just a little bit about what it is you do and how you, more importantly, how you ended up down this road before we get into anything. Because uh, yeah. you yeah. are a doctor, so it is a bizarre... Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a weird direction. Yeah. So, originally, yeah. so originally my original life plan was to um, move to Wales and study for, study for my PhD, get my PhD, which is in film and audience research, so it's Doctor Philosophy, and then I would live in Wales and live in the world of academia and all that kind of thing. But when I began to co-produce a film festival in Wales called the Abattoir Horror Festival, I actually began to realise that this is more like my life's purpose and my sole purpose is actually working in the world of film festivals and then noticing a gap in the market that there was no companies at that time or very, very few that were um, creating, for film, creating film festival strategies for filmmakers because they needed help in that area. Mm-hmm. Filmmakers at Abattoir always told me that we don't know who to turn to to get our film into festivals or who to ask advice for. Right now, we're just going on without a box. That was the one at the time that was probably yeah. the way. And some for the best, really. So we need to really know what we're doing. We're just, you know, we're just like shooting in the dark. And I was like, right, well, I know what festivals want from working in one and traveling the circuit, knowing how festivals program, have experience, and give us a go. So this giving it a go became my company, The Film Festival Doctor, which was born in 2011. I began to prepare at 2010 and started doing my research and figuring out how to run a business because I have no business skills. Yeah. And 2011, officially, when I moved to London, it went up and running and then slowly but surely, each day gets bigger and bigger established brands. So I'm still in my niche, but I call it like I'm the leader of my niche. Um, well, which is in this day and age, which is what you want to be. You want to be the, exactly. the leader of a, a small tribe as opposed to... Um, exactly. ...playing whatever else. Exactly. exactly, yeah. And you're, be- you're better off being... Uh, you're better off working with a small bunch of people, especially like one of the reasons like the, my festival is quite small. And one of the reasons I like it small is because I think the landscape has changed. And I think yeah. you need to be able to offer a, like gone are the days where you can just fire your film off to someone's filmmaker sends a film off and, and someone goes, that'll be 60 quid. And then you get a generic yeah. email back from them six months later saying, thanks, but no thanks. I mean, that whole thing is gone. I think you need to be able to communicate. You need to be open for people to ask you questions, come back and forth. So by keeping an event small and, and you're able to kind of do that, anything larger and it becomes unwieldy and, and, and you're, you're overwhelmed and inundated with stuff. So you, you, you started this, what, nine, ten years ago now? Yes. Um, it started off very small because it was very hard to get it off the ground because I had no other business model that people knew of or what this was to compare it to and also to to learn from. There was one company who did it before me. Obviously other people might have been doing it, but maybe without any exposure because back in the day of in 2010 time, there was no Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That was that came around 2011. So my research was purely the internet and forums back in the day. Um, so I found this one website called, called Film Festival Secrets and they're brilliant. I mean, he still does it now. He's a wonderful pioneer of the whole thing of film strategy. He's well known for it. But he does limited like kind of um, services. He does mainly consultancies. Mm-hmm. But we do also services where we actually get hands on and submit the film to festivals on the client's behalf and lobby to get it into festivals and work as their manager. 
that other company was doing consultancies like advising what to do and being that person to fill that gap and giving them advice how to get into film festivals and which festivals good for their film. There was a gap there. So I had to really, I was trying to prove this model and people were like, well, how do we know it works when you're the one that really knows about it and what it does? We've never heard of it before. Yeah. You know, if it was a sales agent, they'd be probably more trustworthy of me because they, you know, because obviously everyone knows what a sales agent does and everyone mm -hmm. with it. But nobody actually knew what this whole kind of, this whole new kind of sector was. It was very, very niche. Um, so it took a while to get to the trust. So me being in London helped. So obviously I was in Wales. And the film industry in Wales is very, very small. Mm -hmm. it's tiny so to actually get it off the ground with the right clientele I was in the wrong place so when I finished my PhD I was awarded the PhD I have a doctorate now I didn't go down the route of academia which I know that I've said to my supervisor but <laughs> I know it's not what I need to be doing or what my sole purpose is so yeah. I can't really keep doing this and live a lie so then I moved to London 2011 and I went to networking events got it out there found clients to work with who trusted me on their film got results proved the model worked and then there was a business model here and since then it's gone strength to strength other people do it as well obviously there are there's not a huge amount though there's still only a, a small amount it's not like there's millions of us or even a hundred mm -hmm. so that's why it's still good that you know it's a nice small kind of niche to to know of and connect with and see what else is doing and support each other yeah I mean even here I know one person who does something similar. I, I, I mean, it, it's PR, so, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's PR for film festivals. So it's a bit, a bit I mean, it's a lot about helping them get the right. word out. And, oh, I see. You know what I mean? And, and, but I can't think off the top of my head of, of someone who, 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 who primarily helps people with strategy. Do you know what I mean? Um, now, it's funny that you say that about when people came to you when you were, when you were starting out and they were asking about films. I mean, I know from studying film, uh, in college you and i think it's i, I think it's very much a uh, I, I'm, I'm i'd imagine it's changed now but it was very much like you make your film and you get to the end and someone goes and then you just submit it to film festivals but there was a whole gap of knowledge that was just left out where it was like let it in send it to film festival send it to more than one film festival and you know yeah. best of luck see you later but there was no thought given to marketing no thought given to strategy no thought given to to anything like that now my background is in festival management and um, so hence, hence why I run a festival. But uh, I just, it was a weird disconnect where I, I, you end up with all these people spending a lot of time in projects and then they get to the end of that project and they go, what do we do it now? And someone goes, I suppose we do festivals. And, you know, creative egos can be sometimes fragile. They send it to a festival, they don't get in. They assume their film is garbage. No one wants to watch it and they discard it and throw it away. 